Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video and another day at Resurrect HQ. So today guys, we're gonna be working on this Fiesta. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take the whole front end off and have a look what's going on over there. I've already got some parts for this car, like the um, the cage that, that takes the, the radiator and stuff, which is here. So this is the new one, brand new. So, cause I've already seen that, you know, it's damaged underneath there. So I thought I'd get a head start and start getting some parts. So yeah, <clears throat> we'll jump into it in a minute. But, um, you know, again, guys, you know, really appreciate all the support on the comments and stuff. Um, that BMW, uh, police vehicle yeah it come out really well um it is a basic model a lot of you are saying it's just a base model just to you know there's nothing there's no extras on it and nothing like that which is correct most police vehicles are just base models anyway i don't think I, that that bmw <clears throat> excuse me that bmw did not even have a sat nav um that's how basic it was so yeah <clears throat> so anyway yeah look, look really appreciate it guys and uh yeah, hope you enjoy this one. Let's just get this this one start stripped, the front end stripped off. Uh, we've got to do some repair work to the, the headlights because the tabs are, are broken as well, but I've got that hot stapler. So we can do that, <clears throat> get involved in that. And yeah, let's have a look at the damage. Hopefully there's no chassis leg damage on this one. Um, there's always a chance, you never know. <clears throat> so enough waffling, let's get into it. So there we go, the front end is off. Not too bad, it took me about an hour, a few seconds on <laughs> for you guys, but yeah, it took me about an hour to get this off. So looking at the actual um, crash bar, um, it doesn't look like it's been, um, it's been dented a little bit here. This bracket here is dented a little bit in, but that's, that's easily pulled back out. You can, you can, I've done it before. It's um, yeah, it's quite a, it's quite a nice, easy, easy little job that is. As long as the actual structure of the 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 the, the, the actual crush bar's not been touched, bented or donked, and it hasn't really. All these, you know, all these little bits. There's a little tab underneath here that just pulls out like that. Um, and there's another one here, just again, just pulls out. It's really light uh, bits of metal. And um, yeah, and, and obviously they're, they're not being sort of, you know, affected, which they haven't, both sides. It looks like the, the actual crash, someone's gone underneath, because there was a load of mud that I had to get out underneath there. And you can see where the impact is pushed this, this part of the crash bar uh, under. So that's easily pulled back. Um, it won't affect it at all. So I'm quite happy just to, just to put that back. There's no point spending, um, or money on that when you know it's perfectly fine um the, the actual structure of it and the actual um do you know what i mean it's not been affected so yeah that can go back on guys so i'm going to strip this down and then swap over because this this the actual cage uh part of this is that is definitely gone and that's why i bought another one because it all smashed out and it's all it's all cracked here and i've got to get an under tray as well for that so I found an under tray that the connect the bumper connects to. So I've got to get that. This top part's okay. So I'll just put that back on the new one. And um, yeah, just take it all apart. Take all this, uh, this um, the locking mechanism, and everything. Just to, just swap it all over to the, to the new one. And um, yeah, should be ready to go back on. Uh, rad pack and all that. Just sort of swap it all over. Nothing's been damaged on this this, this side. Um, it's all good. All the fans good. Um, 
all the mechanisms over here, the connection, it's, it's all good, it's all good. So yeah, that could just go back on and swapped over. But I have found a bit of a problem over here. Well, it's not a bit of a problem. It's, a, it's, a, it's an issue that I'm coming up against time and time again when it comes to these kind of engines and this kind of mileage. Uh, this has done 82,000, uh, but we've got another, uh, I'll quickly show you. So you can see the oil um, is coming from the cam cover. Gasket again. Yep. So we've got another cam cover gasket to change on this because the oil was just going downwards and it's uh yeah it's leaking so that's got to be done so i'll get all that stripped off as well guys and we'll have a look at that it, whilst we're doing that obviously we can then take off this cover and we can have a look just to see about that um the the uh, timing belt has been changed or not so you can you know more or less tell if it's new or not so we'll have a look at that so that's another little job. So, yep, yeah, I'll uh, I'll dive into it and uh, set you up, and we'll go from there, guys. Yeah. So there we go, yep, got it off. I'll quickly show you the, the belt um, underneath here, if I can, it won't stay, stay. Oh, God, that's it. Right, so that belt, it, look, it is new, it is new. So that's good news. So there you go. That's all good for the new owner, next owner for this car. New belt is done. 2,000 miles ago. That sticker gotta be true. I can't see why people, you know, someone would put that sticker on if it wasn't true. I'd hope so anyway. But like, you know I mean? The belt, if you look at the belt, it, look, it, is, it is new, you can see that it's new. I can see that. So that's uh, so that's that's been done. But you can see by that, look, you know, the oil was just running down the back of that and it's going down there. So this definitely needed to be done, so. Yeah, for like, and for, you know, for what it is, like sixteen quid, it's gonna take me an hour. It's an, it's a no-brainer, really. Um, and I can obviously tell you know show the next owner that I've done this. Um, they can go to my channel and have a look, see the videos of me doing this. So yeah, this is the uh, this is the old one. It's just a bit dirty and a bit grimy. Just pull it out. Yeah, just dig it out and renew it. Put it back in, right. So let me just clean this up. I like to just clean these up when I do them. You know, both sides. Just give them a good clean, both sides. Uh, clean the actual, um, the head as well. I'll clean all that off. And then I'll start putting it back together and we'll do another time-lapse, putting it back together. So I'll see you in a sec, guys. Okay, guys, all cleaned up and new gasket in place. So, yeah, it was definitely needed because on the back side, uh, this side, it was so flat. It was like flush, that gasket. The old one was flush with a plastic rocker cover. So it's definitely, definitely the problem. So this is, uh, yeah, it's much better. Stop the oil getting out. Obviously I've got to do a little bit of um, mastic in there on the corners, you can see like just there and there and there and on the other side just to um yeah it just helps it just helps the uh, the gasket on that and that ridges there that i've learnt to do so i'll set you up and uh show you me reinstating it
Right, okay, here we go. I know that was a lot of time lapses, so um, I can only apologise if people don't like that kind of thing. Like, I just wanted to show what I was doing and yeah, the amount of hours that go into sort of doing these kind of uh, jobs. Yeah, if I filmed every single bit, it just, it just, it just don't, it just don't work out. So, had to do a few time lapses to show you. But we'll start at the bottom, um, where these these uh, metal uh, brackets were, were pushed that way, uh, pulled that one back, and that was it. Um, you know, absolutely fine there. Uh, everything's back in its position. Uh, I swapped all the parts over. Obviously, got a new slam panel. You can see that the new one here, and I just swapped all over all the the rads, air conditioning rad, all the locks. Um, yeah, all those bits and pieces, and then sorted the lights out. And you can see that I've sort of just repaired the tabs on here with a stapler and yeah, stapler and a uh, soldering iron. Just get the just get the the plastic all melted around it. So that's all done. Um, it's lines up really really well um, with the bonnet, the lights. I'll try and do that first with the slam panel and the crash bar. The position of that depends on the position of the bonnet because the bonnet um, pillars on each side have got to line up first and the gaps. And then you close the bonnet and then obviously you know where the position of that lock is supposed to sit. So yeah, that's what I, I like to try and tend to do is put the lights on and the bonnet, get those lined up first. Yeah, and line the front up. So that's that part of it all done. Um, you saw me do the rocker cover gasket. So that's all done in position. Uh, new coolant is filled back up, or new coolant, the, the original one, which is brand new anyway. So there's no problem, no, there's no point changing that. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's come out really well. I'm happy with it. So I did some inside work as well. Um, just off camera and um, I'll just quickly show you what I was doing inside was just literally just tidying up uh, done the seats got the upholstery cleaner you've seen me do that before on other videos if you haven't just go back and you'll see me do the the upholstery cleaner with me uh, me karcher but um, I've got new mats to put down as well inside there but it's looking yeah it's looking really nice now I'm happy with it. Let's have a little start up. So it runs really nice, really smooth. I think this cam belt is definitely changed. Because the other telltale sign as well is that the uh, the um, water pump has been changed, and if, I, I don't know if you can see that in there. Uh, where is it? Just in there. And the water pump's brand new, so you can just see it's better like that. Actually. There, see it. So that that cam belt's definitely been done. So that's that's great news. No lights on the dash, apart from normal. So yeah, this is gonna be a really quick one, to be honest with you. I'm just waiting on the bumpers back and front. Um, so I can put the back one on. And the front one. But there's a couple of bits I've got to pick up. But, uh, but yeah, just got to do the back and back and front bumper, guys, and a good clean. And then this one's this one's more or less done. I've got a new new little shop friend. Here he is. His name's Henry. <laughs> so I just I just. I needed a decent hoover 
to, to you know to clean out these cars and get them get them prepped ready uh, to be sold. And I saw that one for sale, and they are reliable those Henrys to be honest with you. So you know I do know about them. So I thought, yeah, do you know what? Why not? Just get one. It was cheap. It's like forty five quid. So it was definitely worth having. But there we go. So that is going to be a wrap on today's video for this one. There's probably going to be probably another one. <laughs> and then this will be done. This will be finished and ready to be go. Really quick, this one, really quick. So, but I will quickly just tell you how much I paid for this car. Um, so I paid £1,200 including all fees. So the hammer price, my my final bid price was a thousand pound. After fees, it came up to 12, 1220. Uh, yeah, 1220 quid. So that's it. So, you know, I've had the back bumper sprayed, the front, I've had a new bumper to the front and sprayed. Uh, the cam cover gasket, you know, that was 16 quid. And t today, and probably another day, so two days. So, you know, you can you can tell you you can tell by the numbers yourself. Like, you know, you can work you can roughly work out what what I'm going to uh, sell this for. What, nineteen hundred quid, two grand? Don't know. But you know, two days work. It's a it's a decent little profit on this one. So. Yeah, as I said, guys, that's going to be it for, for today's video. Appreciate all the support, guys. Don't forget to drop me a comment. Uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel um, and do all those bits and pieces, like, share, subscribe. Really appreciate it, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.